So this is just a video showing off the updated version of the spherical pose reader. So originally, the pose reader always had four zones that you would use to drive blend shapes. But when I was rigging up this shoulder, I found that that wasn't enough. I wasn't getting desirable deformations in this sort of pose. So I went back and not only did I update it from Mel to Python, but I also updated it so that you could have any number of zones. So right now I have eight blend shapes that are being interpolated between here on the shoulder in order to get these desirable deformations. And on the blog I show what it looks like with four and you can see that once you put four more blend shapes on there, it looks a lot better. So I'm just going to set up a joint here in the empty Maya scene. Select the tip joint and click on pose 2.5. And there is a new UI because originally all you had to do was enter a prefix. So I used a prompt dialog, but now we have to enter the number of zones that we want. So there's a whole UI. So we'll hit create pose reader and it created it. And I chose eight zones because I wanted to show off the visual bug that's in Maya 2016. This is what it looks like in the viewport, but if I go to render, you can see that that is not the actual texture that's on the sphere. And this has something to do with the fact that a layered texture node can only process seven layers properly in Maya 2016. And once you get up to eight layers, um, the top layer, which in this case is the zone zero texture, doesn't get processed proper, doesn't get processed properly. So we'll move out into this position and you can see that we're starting to trigger zone zero. We have the other zones here that I'll go around. And again, we can switch to rainbow and heat map. And of course, we do have the visual bug. So if I were to switch to rainbow and then render, the rainbow is there. But here in the viewport, it isn't there. Um, everything works properly visually in the viewport in Maya 2017 and 2018. Um, and the pose reader still works perfectly functionally inside of 2016. It's just a little bit more difficult to navigate it visually, but if you're familiar with the pose reader, then just using the numbers over here should be perfectly fine.